And that's really important, I think, when we start to think about how are we possibly going to heal fast enough? Because right now the numbers say we can't. Our sperm counts as a species have dropped from you know 57% in just the last three decades. One in three males is infertile. If we were continuing this trajectory, there's no flattening. So you know we fast forward just another three or four decades, and suddenly 90% of males are infertile. Our species is collapsing. Meanwhile, children in the United States now, 52% of them are diagnosed with a chronic disease before they're 18. Mm-hmm. One in three children will have autism by 2035. of of adults will have cancer by that same time period. And so there's literally no way we can turn this boat around fast enough biologically. But all of that is the past. And what is more important is right this second. And if you and I can modify each other's genome right now in a more profound way than any of our past could have done, then it would suggest that our past doesn't actually matter other than a learning experience. History is there to demonstrate what not to do. Mm -hmm. If we keep taking history Mm -hmm. and printing it on the future, Mm -hmm. we will simply disappear off the surface of the planet, which will be good for the biology on Earth. And when we disappear, finally, diversity will take that. I love the saying that it's like if, 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 um, if all the plants and animals disappeared, we would die. If we died, all the plants and animals would flourish. They would recover. <laughs> yeah. Chernobyl, some perspective, right? Chernobyl is a great example of that. Yeah. Humans had to move out of Chernobyl. Over those last four and a half decades since that massive nuclear yep, event. It's beautiful. The most exp- huge explosion of diversity. Wolves are back and the, the voles are thriving in that radioactive soil. Mother Earth is back to thriving in still the most contaminated corner of the planet. Wow. Mother Earth couldn't care less. Mother Earth designed uranium. You don't think she knows how to deal with that stuff? Well, I definitely yeah. believe in that. As far as like, if if if, if we are biological beings and there's a bio- and there's a problem, there's a there's a fix. That's the balance of the universe. That's the balance of the world. It's like a, it must be a law. I'm sure there's some kind of law for that. Um, but there, I I really truly believe that we just don't know what it is, right? We 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 eat. You know, I eat. Uh, you know, um, cordyceps and reishi and uh, lion's mane, and I love eating mushrooms, but. Look, I've clearly not covered a lot of the mushrooms. So we have four million nine hundred ninety-nine. So that's about it. So you know, when you think about that giant perspective, like that giant perspective of how much there is out there that we don't know about, there is a. I hundred percent believe there's a cure out there that we don't have to pump ourselves with synthetics and things that nearly kill us to kill what we're trying to get rid of. There is a fix. There's and, a biological fix. And I think that fix at that biologic level is very similar to that kind of wireless communication network that we just talked about on the IT side. If sure. we stop perturbing the cell-cell communication of human beings, at the same time that we stop perturbing the cell-cell communication down in our soils, then everything in between will fix itself. And so what are we doing to our soils today? And this speaks to that hyperintelligence of Mother Nature, yeah. is that today we are poisoning Mother Earth with about 6 billion pounds of, of chemical herbicides and pesticides annually. Uh, more than chemtrails. Do you believe in all that crap? I mean, there's pretty. It's pretty understood that they're spraying things in the air. Well, I mean, you, you take an airplane, you're spraying things in the air. It's called fossil fuels, right? Sure. There's just so that whether, simple whether, one simple whether thing. Whether it's just the airplane, or if there's you know geoengineering going on, which is pretty well described pretty well at this point. And understood. So they're, and they're seeding clouds. Admitted. There's, there's even there's a thing really, where you can get a you can you can guarantee a, a wedding without rain. Yeah, with great. geoengineering, enough sp- spending you can change that weather. Yep, pat- wet like weather for a hundred thousand dollars, you can guarantee no rain on your wedding day. <laughs> That's I true. Love. I read that.